What's up guys? So just before we get into today's video, I wanted to tell you guys a short little story. So today started like every other day. I woke up in the morning, I made my coffee, got the kids ready, the wife got ready, the wife took the kids and was off on her day. But in between all of that, I completely forgot to drink my coffee. It's annoying. I mean, it went cold, but you know what I told myself? I was like, today, that is not going to ruin my day. Cold coffee will not ruin my day. I can just make another cup. But do you know what is going to ruin your day? Hackers in your network stealing your credential hashes. Let's fix that, shall we? Today we're going to be talking about LLMNR and NBTNS poisoning. So there's already a ton of documentation and videos on the internet on how to use Responder and all of those cool tools. So today I decided I'm going to show you a cool way that I perform this attack on penetration tests. Um, typically, uh, Responder and all of those tools, you would need to be physically in the building, you would run it, and then hopefully you would be catching some credential hashes that are flying around. Um, but for this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to do this on a compromised host. The benefit of this is, is as long as you can compromise different hosts in a network, you can run this in that host's VLAN and basically start sniffing credentials all over the place. That's the goal. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. And then I'm going to show you guys how to fix it. Awesome. So, as you can see here, we have four virtual machines in our lab. Um, look, you do not have to go this elaborate. You can just run this on a machine, check if you're vulnerable, and then fix it. Um, I just wanted to kind of set the stage and try and make this as real world as possible. So, we have an attacking machine here. This is our Parrot OS VM. We have a domain controller. We have a vulnerable workstation. And we have a file server. The file server is our compromised host. This is the host that we've already infected and we're going to be using this host to sniff for credential hashes. So um, let's open up our attacking machine. I already um, have gotten the interpreter shell. I've elevated to system. I have loaded the PowerShell module and uploaded the exploit already just to save time. I've done this beforehand. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open up a PowerShell shell. You're going to import module I just threw it in the root of C for simplicity's sakes. Um, obviously, in a real pen test or a real um, hack intrusion, this is going to be in a little bit more of a complex folder. So here we go. And then you're going to import the PS1 file. There we go. And then you're going to invoke Invey. Um, by the way, I will have this um, GitHub link down below, written by a guy called Kevin Robertson. It's a really cool tool. So, yeah, now it's a set up our attack output. It's a medium. Console unique is new. NVNS, yes. MDNS, yes. And now, what I also like to do is I like to use a file output because. Sometimes running this in a shell, in a remote shell like this can get a little bit hairy. It's like a hit or a miss whether or not you're going to get the output here. But if you set um, Invade to um, push it out to a text file, you're good. It's going to save it all, all, all of the stuff over there and you'll be good. You can just exfiltr exfiltrate that later. Output directory. Oh, let's just throw it in and see who cares. Okay, so let's just check file output directory. We have everything there. Should be good. There we go. We're running. So it might throw out an error. It's fine. Should work. So now let's open up our vulnerable machine. Okay, let's go there. We're going to browse to the file server. And this is just a share that I created um, that we should just access. So, okay. And now uh, we're accessed the share. Let's go have a look if we have a hash because Microsoft had to authenticate somehow. So let's check this out. Okay. Let's. So there we go. As you can see over here, we have created a file called envae ntlm v2. So let's check that out. More. Paste. Pamela and Canary. Okay, this is bad. Okay, this is really, really bad. Um, copy. Let's open up hashcat. M 
650600. I hope I remember that module correctly. Dash dash. Oh, let's say. Let's just use Rock you. Simple word uh, word list um, available on Kali. It just comes stock standard with all of these pen testing distros. Um, just use that for argument for. I forgot the word. Example sakes. That's the word. Anyway, and then we force it. Good, 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 good. And as you can see here, it is cracked and our password is a very famous password. Now, let's just stop for a moment. I'm, I'm, actually, I'm trying to think of a penetration test where this password has not, or a variant of this password has not come up. I don't think I've had it. I, I am almost fairly certain that this password or a variant of this password has been in some form of penetration test that I've done. Stop it, people. You do not need to use this password, okay? But anyway, this is just for example sakes, but now that I've got that off my chest, let's go ahead and fix this problem. To fix this problem, you're gonna to wanna to go to domain controller. Let's open that up. Uh, let's make this group policy management a little bit bigger. So you're gonna basically go to this directory, um, policies, administrative templates, network, DNS client, turn off multicast name resolution. You're gonna set that to enabled, apply, and okay. Okay, close that up. Then you wanna to go to your DHCP um, server. Okay, in my case, I've just got it installed on my DC, but you just go to wherever you go. Um, you're going to go there into scope options, as you can see in the tree over there. You're going to go to advanced, you're going to say Microsoft Windows 2000 options. Disable the NetBIOS option. Make sure you set this value to 0x2. Okay, you're going to apply it and you're going to go OK. And then you can close it off. It is that simple. I will put the text versions of that down below in the description if you want to follow along, if you want to copy and paste or whatever, put that down there for you. But that's it. That's how you solve this problem. Um, obviously, please test. Don't just put this on in your network and break everything and say it's the Cyberlinks dude on YouTube told you to break your network because I didn't tell you to break your network. I told you to test this first. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. Please smash that like button, smash that subscribe button and have yourselves a rad day. Thanks.